Jerry, it's Brian Kenny. I miss you. It was great working with you. It's good to see you. Look, you look like you're enjoying life right now. Good to see you again. I am, Brian. I'm, I'm enjoying life. I'll, you know, like we talked earlier, I also enjoy this. this I get a chance to see some boxing, too, as well. So yeah. it's a little better for me now, We, used to, we would talk boxing in commercials maybe more, more than baseball. All right. All right, Jerry, tell me about this camp. What is it like? What type of kids are you getting? What's the benefit to these kids coming in from around the country? Well, number one, the camp is um, you know dedicated to Martin Luther King. I think Tony Riggins uh, came up with a tremendous idea to start something early in January and the perfect time for high school kids was again when they had that break uh, for the Martin Luther King weekend, and we put forth uh, that event. And it has uh, it has really taken flight, uh, to be honest with you. We have we we're turning away kids and, and and things of that nature. But for the most part, you you have to applaud uh, Major League Baseball for investing in these types of things to get our African American community really back involved in our, in our, in our, in the, in the greatest pastime in the world, you know, baseball. Yeah, I love that, Jerry. And, uh, you know, I think about you being in the game for such a long period of time and then being able to communicate with these young players. I'm thinking about when I was that young, I was just so far behind in learning any aspect of Major League Baseball. What is the most important thing for you to communicate to these kids just trying to get better? Well, I mean, that's, that's a very good question because for me it was difficult at the beginning because I thought I was speaking a foreign language. Mm. And I said, dang, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit out of touch. And and my kids would tell me the same thing. I said, nah, this is baseball. They said, nah, dad, you, 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 you know, you're speaking to a different generation of kids. And I had to learn to adjust and adapt to their style and their language. And um, hopefully I'm getting a little better at that. I think we are, and we bring in people that have been in this uh, arena much longer than I have guys like Marquise Grissom, uh, Lou Collier. These guys have been doing this for a long time and they, they, they've been very instrumental in helping me to get, get the message across to the kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jerry, speaking of some of those names you're talking about, the, the staff that you guys have around you, it, it's impressive, mm -hmm. it's extensive, it, it's really great to see. Give us a little story, uh, you know, for the folks at home to hear about what's going on at these camps, how mm -hmm. these kids are learning, and how they're interacting with you and these other staff members. Uh, well, our, our last camp, we, we focused on uh, – not only the mechanics, I think we had done so much with mechanics over the years that when we went to play in tournaments, we were seeing we, we were seeing we had the most talent, but we didn't understand the game. So now our focus is on mechanics and strategy, trying to teach those two simultaneously to help the kids understand the game better. But I think I think. Uh, over these past maybe 10 or 15 years, I think the game has gotten away a little bit from the strategy with the uh, play for play, pay for play, uh, you know, the travel ball mindset, uh, the showcase mentality is, is basically an individual thing, but the game is a team thing. So we're trying to introduce the game and the team part into this showcase baseball. Jerry, I'm glad you brought that up. I wanted to ask that because I don't, everything I hear about youth baseball now, um, it, it, it appears that the kids are constantly traveling. It's one big showcase. The top kids get isolated and they get moved around. Are right. most of these kids the super elite or are you getting some that don't have access to you know those that constant travel and that elite sort of level? Yes, we're, we're getting, we're, we're, we're actually had, have an amalgamation of both. They're blended together where we're getting kids that have probably never seen a big league field and have never been in a travel ball situation mm. to kids that uh, have are at the top of the class in, in, in these uh, places where they're ranked very high. So we, we're getting we're getting a blend of both both talents, which is great. Uh, but at the but but what, what's key for us is that the cultural part of it is that these kids that are the elite have never really seen their culture in one big group play the game of baseball, which is a beautiful thing. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things of importance of the Dream Series is to be able to get guys all together and developing all together in one place. 
and you look at another guy like, okay, he looks like me, and you don't get that all too often. So I think that that's special. I have a question about the numbers aspects of things because the young players today, analytics are extremely important to get those numbers, right, whether it be exit below, uh, everything that we talk about from a pitching standpoint. Uh, what do you – what are they doing in Dream Series that helps them kind of understand that aspect of the game as, as you talked about strategy as well? Well, the, the thing is that what we're, what we're trying to do is uh, not nullify the numbers, but to minimize the talk about the numbers and then try to get the mechanics of how to get to those numbers properly in the context of how do you get to those numbers in a winning situation in the game. Mm. So it's uh, it could be somewhat complex, but at the same time, it's simple in the sense that the game takes priority, not what your exit velocity is or what your, 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 your radar reading is, 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 is what does that fit in a winning situation, not just in your individual situation. Right. That's our fight. That's our fight. Wow, that's, that's amazing to hear, too, because I think there needs to be an understanding of the game and team aspect first before the numbers as well. Jerry, last one for me is what's been the most rewarding aspect of the Dream Series for you personally as you get to coach these young kids? Oh, man, to see, to see the joy, to see the joy mm. in a kid's eyes is, is, is tremendously rewarding. It's, that, you, you, can't, you can't beat that when you wake up and you get there early, and kids are already there, ready to play. That, that, that to me, is the joy. The joy that I see is, is, is tremendously rewarding for me personally. That, that's how I feel. All right. Jerry, always a pleasure talking with you. And uh, good Same to see here. you again. Good to see you enjoying the sunshine out there seeing the grandkids. <laughs> And, Jerry, uh, don't be afraid to yeah. tell your son to send some fear of God this way over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Jerry, thank you so much. Good job. Good job uh, on that. Same here, guys. Great Excellent. to see you, man. All right.